In this video, we illustrate one technique for varus derotation osteotomy of the proximal femur using a cannulated locking blade plate, which we think is appropriate for the management of moderate to severe hip displacement in the non-ambulatory child, GMFCS 4 and 5, with cerebral palsy. Following a standard lateral approach to the proximal femur, a guide wire is inserted from the lateral cortex of the proximal femur to reach the central position of the proximal femoral metaphysis just shy of the physis. The procedure is easier to perform with the hip internally rotated and abducted, so the guide wire is inserted parallel to the operating table and floor. The cannulated seating chisel that matches the blade width of the proposed implant is inserted over the guide wire and the position is fit and confirmed on both the AP and lateral fluoroscopic views. Using the appropriate osteotomy cutting guide, the first cut on the lateral femoral metaphysis is made, parallel to the guide wire and seating chisel, taking care not to converge inadvertently on the femoral neck. Following the first osteotomy, the proximal fragment is abducted and maintained in a position of neutral rotation, and a second osteotomy is made 90 degrees to the distal femoral shaft and a piece of bone is removed which is irregular in size, including the proximal femoral metaphysis and lesser trochanter. With larger degrees of varus correction, the lateral projecting corner of the proximal femoral metaphysis may prevent adequate medialization of the implant, leaving prominent hardware. We therefore advocate in selected children making a third trapdoor cut that allows the surgeon to insert the blade deeper into the proximal femur and prevent prominent hardware. Once the third cut is made, the seating chisel is removed and the plate is placed over the guide wire. It's fixed using a reduction clamp through the middle locking hole and alignment is checked. Non-locking screws are placed in the first and third position. The cannulated holder is removed, the clamp is removed, and the hip is taken through a range of motion. Following this, locking screws are placed Stability is tested. The wound is irrigated and closed in layers with a waterproof adhesive dressing. We rarely use spica casting for this type of fixation. 